happened. Welcome. You're all officially dead. And in the in-between part of the afterlife. You will need to fill in this paperwork in order to proceed to the next stage. Please lift your hand as I call your name. Fuck is this? Please refrain from using profanity. It is in your best interest that you cooperate with us, so this transitional period moves as smoothly and efficiently as possible. Transitional period? I don't feel dead. You will. Now, let's proceed. John Simpson. John Simpson. You're John, right? Please raise your hand. Why should I? You are holding up the process, sir. Oh, just do it! It's his choice, really. You're wasting time, John. Insulting gestures are not allowed either. Gina Hartley. Tommy Alexander. Tommy Alexander. What? She knows it must be me. This is stupid. This is procedure, sir. I'm only doing my job. Tommy Alexander. Hey, are you guys getting, like, images of a, a car accident in your heads? Oh, shit! Oh, Jesus! Poor Helena! Oh, God, your wife! <gasps> no, man! Not me fucking wife! My night train, 1340cc Harley Davidson! My Helena! You mean like a motorcycle? Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? Why are you sorry? It was only an object. It wasn't a person or anything. Hey, screw you, lady. She was better than a person. She was loyal and trustworthy and always had my back. Person. Person. She... She never cheated on me. Person. Screw you. Are you just going to sit there and let him talk to me like this? Well... You did insult him first. Uh, you have no spine whatsoever, do you? What did I do? Thank you. 
disgusting habits never die. So weird. What is, sweetie? I was halfway into my period and it's just gone now. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Ow! Ugh. I need a cigarette. No, you don't. You're dead. Oh, yeah? Well, if I had one now, I would smoke the arse of it. No, you wouldn't. There's a no smoking sign. Gina, for fuck's sake, lighten up. Stop being so damn rude. What's wrong with you? I am not bloody whipped. Sure. You two are both children. You two are both children. I'm out of here. Sit down and be quiet. I don't think so, Tootsie. I said, sit down. Please wait here until all paperwork gets processed. We thank you in advance for your patience and understanding. Excuse me, um, I was wondering, why is there a clock and a no smoking sign here if we're all dead? Who cares why? These objects are here for familiarity reasons, to lessen the shock of the transition. You guys hear that? What are you on about? That weird sound. I have a question for you. Why the hell did you guys crash into me? You just came out of nowhere. What does it matter now? Just, just leave it. What's done is done. Oh. It matters. It matters loads. It's life and death stuff, isn't it? Just drop it, okay? Hey, you, sweet bits. Call her by her name, you punk! Tommy. Hey, Gina. Wanna tell me why you look so guilty? You don't have to say anything to We were fooling around in the car, okay? Happy now? We were soon to be married. Finally, I might add. And then it just happened. It was quick. And it was our fault. I'm sorry. Will you tell that woman that? I want my fucking life back! Might be a bit late for that now, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. I just got a bad feeling about this. Why the wait? Where are they taking us? You mean like some kind of hell? Maybe. Who knows what's out there? There is no heaven or hell. That's just childish. Oh, yeah. And you knew this place existed, right? You knew shit. Nobody knows nothing. He's got a point, sweetie. Why don't you shut it, sweetie? Tommy Alexander. Our records indicate that you got married in 2005. What? and that you are, in fact, still married to this day. 
Please amend this information on your form immediately. Your deception is delaying the process. Is it true? It's not what you think, Gina. Oh. I see. I see. So there's a perfectly good explanation as to why, after a three-year relationship, you somehow forgot to mention the fact that you were married! It, it, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's been long over, that relationship. I just haven't been able to get her to sign the divorce papers. I should have told you. No. <laughs> you think? Jesus, you were never going to marry me, were you? You are a disgusting little man and I want nothing more to do with you. Enough. Don't, don't you touch me! Fine. Whatever. What is that? Shut up! I don't want to hear your pathetic, lying voice. Wasn't talking to you, was I? Bottom pile of vomit, soaked excrement, you- That doesn't even make any sense! Oh, you can't! Real classy. So I can't use profanity. You use the worst profanity in the English language. Shut up! You're making me wish I was dead all over again. Who cares what happened in the past? None of it fucking matters. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? The only thing, the only single thing that matters now is that you are together. You get the chance to face whatever's out there Together. Together. <sighs> Screw it. He's right. Forgive me. Hey, get like another weird room. Thank you. Now, there's one more thing to do before you progress to the next stage. I have a statement that needs to be signed and given to the right department for filing. Someone needs to confess to the accident that caused your deaths. Whomever is responsible, please approach the table and sign the paper. Yeah, that shit was all me, babe. I was speeding like fuck that night, trying to get home to watch the season finale of Sons of Anarchy. Oh, been drinking a bit too. That's not true. Sure it was. I'm the arsehole caused the fucking crash. Right, profanity, sorry. Thank you. Your application process is complete. If you please now, follow me. What will happen to him now? He moves on to the next stage. Which is? It's a personal matter. What are we waiting for? I'm with the f freaking show. So, you seen anyone? I like him chicks, that's all tough.
We are terribly sorry, but there has been a clerical error in the initial stage of the process. Apparently you, Tommy Alexander, are not dead. What? Are you joking? This was our mistake, so a top branch decision has been made that you, Tommy Alexander, may be given the choice of either continuing on with Gina Hartley to the next stage, or you can choose to go back to life. If you sign this document, you will wake up in a hospital and you will have no recollection of what has transpired in this room. I... Uh, I... You need to decide now. The process has been delayed enough already. We're almost out of time. Oh my God, you're actually considering this? Gina, well, I don't know. I mean, I can be alive. I can go on living. Without me? Is that what you want? Is it? Tell me. Tell me. Look at me. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're a beat and jaded.